I spun around too many times. That's definitely not good. Hi guys, I'm Mo. Welcome back to my art channel. Who this guy? With hair and with wearing a shirt. Anyways guys, today I will redraw some of your artwork. So, I'm redrawing subscribers artwork. One of our first events, which is pretty, pretty exciting to be honest. So, actually I have this event calendar on my website where you can always check out which community events are happening at which state, all that kind of stuff. Also, how you can participate in these events. And this, by the way, directly brings us to the sponsor of today's episode, Wix.com. They enabled me to build my own online store. If you want to build your own online store as well, just check out the link down in the description and you can basically start building your website or online store today. And by the way, thanks everyone so much for sending in an artwork. Uh, I was like actually really blown away by all of the artworks and they are so good. You guys are also talented and I'm a bit scared that I will make the artworks uh, worse than before so mm, we will see though so without any further ado I would say let's check out our first artwork okay and I, I let, I'm just blown away I mean look at the character it's so good already how should I even make this any better the wings are crazy cool I uh, love the three eyes on her head actually um, so we gotta make this a mix of like a creature design maybe and the human character design wow I'm like super excited for for this so yeah Talia amazing work and now let's jump straight in and let's hopefully make this character not worse so what I really wanted to focus on this character is that she has wings and so maybe she's an angel or not I don't know maybe let me know down in the comments Talia but uh, she has at least wings so I wanted to make the pose a bit more dynamic and focus on that she's probably able to fly basically yeah that's what I did I changed the pose to a flying pose everything else I honestly kept pretty close to the original because I really love the original version by the way like the, the wings gave me like crazy hard time so good job on the wings and yeah the color scheme is also pretty close to the original one um, didn't actually change a lot just made the colors just a tiny bit more pastel I think and yeah this is my first character compared to the original version let me know down in the comments if I did this character justice it's not gonna get any worse guys you are so talented this is our second artwork this one is by Terion Terion um, I am absolutely in love with this character with like this witch character probably uh, this cool hat I love the colors with this earthy tones yeah I just love the the dress and also like the the sleeves on the arms and her little stick here, amazing. Love the hat, by the way, it's beautiful. And gradient hair, always something I love to do. So let's see if we will bring this character justice as well. As I said, incredible artworks. Wow. So the second character is super amazing as well. If there's one little critique, I would say that the pose feels just a little stiff because the witch, or whatever this character is supposed to be, I think it is. You know, just holds the stick just in the hand and is looking at it. And every time you draw something, uh, think about that you can also use things, especially like these wands or whatever it is, perfectly to, to you know, use it for a more interesting pose. So that's what I did. I set a big focus on the wand or stick. Man, I, I don't know if that's the correct word. Uh, but everything else, to be honest, is also just a redraw of the original character because I really love her dress and everything. Uh, in the end, I just changed the colors a tiny bit, um, removed the brown and added just a tiny spot of pink because I think it is a really nice contrast to the overall green and dark black color scheme. And yeah, here is the original version by Tachyon and again let me know down in the comments guys if you like my version of this character okay guys uh, stop how should I even add something to these artworks 
I don't even know what should I say to that. It's just so good. How will I be able to add something to it? I will try, of course. I uh, love this little mermaid. Um, I love the eyes. They are like super shiny and the colors. I love like the gradients and all of the different colors on her costume. Uh, or like, it's not a costume, it's like a, 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 on a cloth. Because she is actually probably a real mermaid, so it's not a costume. Wow, love like the little accessories on her hair and stuff. Wow, honestly, also I don't even know how amazing are those light effects and everything um, from the water. That's gonna definitely give me a hard time. So uh, yeah, GG, props to you, amazing artwork and epic stuff. So I think the biggest change to that character is basically that I tried to also draw a mermaid, but it turned out that I really didn't like it. I really love Caramel's original costume or dress, but I decided to change all the cool patterns on the dress and all that stuff into a really cool pair of pants. So I, I added these jeans that is made with all kinds of different patterns on it and so I set like a huge focus on the jeans since I stick really closely to the first two characters. I wanted to just do something else and yeah I just really don't like drawing mermaids. But let me know down in the comments if you like this more like different approach to when I redraw characters or if I should stick more closely to the original versions. So before we move on, let's talk about today's sponsor of this episode who made actually this video possible, Wix.com. They enabled me to build my own website and which is pretty amazing. You can also now by clicking the link down in the description, start building your website today. I actually built my online store with their Wix editor. So it doesn't really matter if you want to build an online store or a website. The Wix editor will guide you through the whole process. So basically how the editor works is pretty amazing because you can start from a template and choose whatever you want to do. If you are a photographer, you can choose a template for photography. If you want to build an online store like I did, just choose online store. But there's something for everyone. So once you've chosen your template, you will directly jump into the editor and now you can change all kinds of different things. You can remove all the parts that you don't want on your website and you know put your own images in for example i put my own logo in you just have to resize it and bam it's already there you can change the sliders you can change the colors and if you are a person that wants to build an online store for example but you you say i, I don't know I, I really don't know what to do don't worry about that because the editor actually helps you through the whole process from start to finish so it will show you that you have to start with adding your first product then that you have to set up a payment method. So it will guide you through it step by step by step by step. So if you don't have any idea at the beginning, you can still build your own online store thanks to Wix.com. So that's pretty amazing. If you want to start out building your online store or website today, click the link down in the description. You can start building your website today. So let's thank Wix.com for supporting the channel like crazy and now let's move on guys last but not least we have an artwork by studio grabe studio grape studio grabe yeah pretty amazing character design if, if you watch this channel you know that i always love to draw spiky hair so we have a character with spiky hair and a super long scarf again keeping it really classy with the colors oh this is pretty brutal stuff with the with the with the hands like Hello. Hi. So actually he looks like he comes straight out of a fight. Uh, and it is an interesting fact that he is smiling. Seems to be really happy about it. So what's the story behind this character? Maybe we will find out with my take on it as well. And again, the main thing I changed at this last character is the pose. I wanted it to look a bit more dynamic. Again, I think I turned the character into some like Dragon Ball kind of character that is like floating a bit over the ground because he looks like he came straight out of a fight and also I removed the scarf because I really didn't know how I should include it into that pose so what I did instead is just basically I added this 
pattern on the shirt that should be like a little reassemblance of the scarf and the pattern on the scarf with the same colors um, so yeah it's it's definitely a bit different by the way I, I love my take on the shoes actually everything else again it's not really that different even though I think it looks a bit more stylistic than what I usually draw so yeah here is my final drawing compared to Studio Garbage's original version. Let me know down in the comments which one of all of those four redraws is your favorite one, guys.